Hey y'all, hey. So today we are making butter sauce, Virgin Island butter sauce for fish and whatever else you want to put it on. So my son likes to dry right on top of uh, peas and rice so you can do that as well with it. So this is what we're using. We're using Goya adobo, of course, my seasoning, which is Chef Holly's essential seasoning, which you can get on my website listed right there below. Um, we're also going to use a little bit of water. We're going to have some vegetable oil or light olive oil. Uh, we're going to have about a half a pound of butter, give or take. Um, about a cup and a half or two cups of diced onions or sliced onions. Bell pepper, any color you want to use is fine. And then you also have garlic cloves. Just a handful is enough. You're going to throw it all in your small dutchie. Put in about a fourth of a cup of um, vegetable or whatever kind of oil that you're using. You can use anywhere from a fourth of a cup to a half a cup uh, you don't need too much and then we're going to put in some dried thyme so you want to put in a good sprinkle of thyme you ain't cooking caribbean food if you ain't got no thyme in the food so there you go all right so we got the thyme in there and then we're going to put in just a little bit of the goya adobo and the seasoning is all to taste so there's no rhyme or reason in the caribbean at least for me where i'm from for seasoning the season everything seasoned to taste then you're going to sprinkle in some lemon pepper. Now, you can use fresh lemon, but I just kind of feel like being that I freeze this sauce, that the lemon pepper holds up better over time. Uh, typically, when the lemon starts going south, it just it just changes the whole taste of the sauce. So the lemon pepper avoids that. All right, so I'm going to put in a nice pinch of crushed red pepper. Um, if you want it heavier, why did I just smack? Uh, I hate when people do that, and I just did that. Anyway, a good pinch of crushed red pepper, and then you could also add scotch bonnet if you don't have crushed red pepper, because scotch bonnet is actually what we use. All right, so the flame is on, and we're going to go ahead and start sauteing all of those vegetables with um, my essential seasoning, my pong up seasoning. We have everything you need to really have in it, thyme, garlic, all of that is in there. And then after everything starts sauteing a little bit, you're going to go ahead and go in with your water. This is about 32 ounces of water. And you're going to allow it to reduce all the, the flavorings and the adobo and my seasoning and everything can marry together. I put in some more time because I felt it needed some time. Now, this part right here is called, here's my culinary school stuff, depoulage. We are depoulage. It's skimming the scuds off the top, the impurities. After all that is done, you want it to reduce by about half. And you're going to taste it. If it's a little too salty, you're going to add some more water. Um, if it's not... Um, you know, if, it, if you don't have enough, you can add more water again to and then re-season if it doesn't have enough flavor. Completely up to you. So that's how that works. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put those in the freezer and we can pop them out whenever we want. And that's what I do with them. I put them on top of salmon, on top of peas and rice and plantains. Thank y'all for watching my Virgin Island recipes.